For a lot of developing and developed countries, lifelong learning has already become an integral part of their educational systems as a component of educational and social reforms. In this video, we are going to review the two main frameworks that are basis of these integrations, the lifelong learning framework and the education for all advocacy. The lifelong learning framework emphasizes that learning occurs during the entire course of an individual's life and must enable individuals to have relevant participation at work and in the society. This may be formal, non-formal or informal which happens in the home, workplace, community or society at large. Lifelong learning aims to foster learning to know, learning to be, learning to do, and learning to live together. Meanwhile, the Education for All Advocacy is a global commitment to provide quality education for all children, youth and adults. It values the learning needs and calls for equitable access to learning programs that are appropriate and in particular, the life skills. In developing countries, lifelong programs should possess the characteristic of being learner-centered. It has to cater to a diversity of learner needs and focus on learner motivation. Regardless of format, modality or mode of delivery of a lifelong learning framework an institution or a country chooses to develop, they will be confronted with different challenges along the way. We reviewed the lifelong learning framework as a guide before you navigate and learn about the different cases of lifelong learning in developing countries.